It's always nice when in the time it takes to mix your resin, it goes from sunny to raining. Ah, oh, rain is not good for fiberglass. Anyway, I got the thing covered and threw it in my workshop before it got too many drips on it. I think it'll be all right. All right, let's see if we can get this thing out. Um, yeah. That's not coming off. I think maybe, hmm, maybe the wax wasn't totally dry before we put the fiberglass on. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, I feel it coming off already. Well, that sucker came off easy. Outside today Ooh. with me. Are you doing outside? I'm doing outside oh, today. Hmm. Did you paint that? Well, after my fiberglass screw up, I didn't feel like getting fiberglass out again, so I decided to make a cement one of these. And it is just cement. There's no sand or rocks or anything. There is burlap, so it's reinforced with burlap. Other than that, it's just now, like a centimeter and a half thick cement. Hopefully, this has a good enough shape to do what I'm wanting it to do. Now I need to find the focal point of this dish. Luckily, this one had the thingy attached to it. I find these on the side of the road because people throw them out. Alright, so there's my focal point there. This, if I say something here, the sound should come out, hit this, and bounce straight out, you know, the opposite direction. And if sound is coming in straight in here, it should hit and go, bounce right up to there. So I need to make a little jig or something so I can find this spot on a concrete one. I can't just screw this to the back of the concrete one because the, the concrete one is a different thickness and the different shape on the back and stuff. All right, I marked the center here with pencil back there. So if I line up that with that and go walk way back over there and look right where that's lining up, that should be where this is gonna bounce the sound. And the, the, just above the top of this is where the focal point is. All right, I drew the center in bright crayon. Hopefully I can see that from the other end of the island. Okay, can you stand on top of those two bricks? Yeah, right there. Okay, stand there. Oh, my flip-flops are falling off. Can you hear me really well? Laura, can you say something? You know what? I can hear Mama inside the house really well, which is a few feet over your head. Say, say the alphabet right now. Okay, now I've got two dishes. One here and one way over there. And now we're gonna see what we can do here. Okay, count to 10. Oh, right there. Wait. Count, count to 20. But, but like, keep making noise. Don't stop between your words. Oh yeah, right there. That's where I can hear you really well. Can, okay. you, can you hear me extra loud now? Okay, let me, let me count to 10 and then see if you can find the loudest spot. I'll count to 20. Okay. 
next page. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh yeah, I can hear you super loud right now. Can you can you whisper? Yeah, it's weird. I can totally hear you super easily. Yeah, I think these stupid things work. Okay, I'm gonna talk really quiet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me at all? That's crazy. There's no way you can hear me. This is this totally works. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna have to do a half a kilometer test because that's the closest place these whisper dish things will be useful. And my fiberglass screw up. Well, it is kind of good to screw up once in a while because then it reminds me that I can. And then I tend to not to screw up on bigger things. That was a pretty, pretty low resource usage lesson. So that was good. Yeah, I'm going to be on guard against screwing up. No screwing up. No screwing up.